verbs ser and estar. Permanent or temporary. Many students are taught that the verb ser is about permanent conditions or situations. And the verb estar is about temporary conditions or situations. This is incorrect. And it's a teacher's fault to teach that. Ser is not about permanent situations, even if it works many times. It's about intrinsic conditions. Estar is not about temporary situations, even if it works many times. It's about states. See these examples. Number one, soy un estudiante que se graduará la semana que viene. And a student graduating next week is a temporary situation, but we don't say estoy un estudiante. Being a student is an intrinsic condition for this person. It's what he or she is at this moment. Number two. Este castillo ha estado en ruinas desde el siglo XVII. This castle has been in ruins since the 17th century. It's a permanent situation, but we don't say este castillo ha sido en ruinas. Being in ruins is the stay of the castle. The location of something or someone is considered a stay. So we use the verb estar. The location can be permanent or temporary. Examples. A, las llaves están en la mesa. The keys are on the table. It's not an intrinsic condition of the keys to be on the table. It's a state. B, Sam está en la universidad. Sam is at the university. It's not an intrinsic condition for Sam to be at the university. It's a state. C. Londres está en Inglaterra. London is in England. Although being in England looks like an intrinsic condition of London, London wouldn't be London located in another place, the characteristic of a location as a state prevails. 